Good day, everyone. Today's video is gonna be on how to merge data sets in Excel. This is by request. I oftentimes don't use Excel for this just because I'm used to doing it in prior programs that I was kind of trained on, so out of habit, I default to those. But Excel is capable of doing this. A lot of people, I don't think, realize it. I had to take some refresher videos and go through it just to remind myself for this video. But it is pretty handy to know Excel can handle merging data sets. It's just knowing how to go about it and where to click. So what you see in front of you, I have three different sheets at the bottom. You see I have County Jenny, the County Health, and UCR 2019. I downloaded all of these from Social Explorer. Commonly what I've used in other videos, you probably have your own data sets that you can use, but there is a unique identifier across each one of these data sets that it will allow me to merge them together. So the one you see in front of you right now is the County ACS, so American Community Survey, for 2021 estimates at the county level. So we have a FIPS code here that gives each county its unique identifier. We have population and the Gini inequality co uh, coefficient, the index itself. I grabbed that just as one social measure to show you that you can do it. Population still serves well here. You have the land area and all that. And our second sheet here, another data set that we have is our health data, county level health data for 2020 in the United States bunch of different measures here. I've used this data set in prior videos. I use it in class exercises quite a bit because I think it's a nice one to look at. It's not always crime related, but there's a lot of overlap of community crime and health outcomes. I like to show it from a different angle as well. And the last one I grabbed was the 2019, what's most recently available on Social Explorer for only the state of Arkansas. You can see some gaps in here. We'll cover that at another point in time with our lovely crime reporting to the FBI, so the still FBI UCR data. I only ask for Arkansas County, so there's 75 counties in Arkansas as a whole. With that though, I could go through and just match on the FIPS itself, so I could do V lookups time and time again to pull in a violent crime rate, all of these health outcomes, but at the end of the day, that becomes a pain in the ass. I really don't wanna spend my time doing that. I could use the merge function within Excel or the ability to merge data in Excel. And we're gonna go over that today. So I'm gonna use the base data set as the ACS one. When I say that, that also includes Puerto Rico. So we have different sample sizes given each data set. So I'll show what that looks like at the end. And that's where you, if you don't have values, it's gonna come back blank and we're good with that. You just have to be aware of how to look at your data. But at the end of the day, we're gonna merge them all. And then you're gonna have a table or a data set to work with at the end to go through this. With that, I took these three separate workbooks, combined them into one Excel workbook, just had each data set as an individual sheet. I prefer this when I was going through the videos and kind of following along. This works better for me. So I recommend it, it's just a little easier when you're going through it. But to do this, you're actually gonna create a new data set or a new workbook to start off with. So Control N. I'm gonna come up to the data tab. I've used this to get data from the web before. Oftentimes Wikipedia is a good one to use as an example. But this time I'm actually gonna grab data from a file. I have a workbook that has three different sheets in it. I just wanna merge those three. So from workbook, and I'm gonna grab the one that I have. And similarly to the other videos, it's gonna generate those tables for you. I wanna select multiple items. So I actually want to bring in each table. So with that, do not click load here. You actually want to transform. You want to edit what's going on. So hit transform data. Hopefully this loads on the correct screen this time and doesn't give me as many issues. Nice, I'm going to enlarge this as much as I can. Of course on this one, it won't let me, there it is. So it's different on my tablet screen to versus my attached secondary screen. But in here, before I get in, I just wanted to make sure merge queries was in here. You can see on the left, you have each individual table or data set here that you're working with. On the right hand side, it gives you your settings itself, your applied steps. I like this because it's a nice path to show what you've done within a data set or when you're transforming itself. So say I hopped into the UCR and I wasn't concerned with the name of the area because it's almost duplicate of the qualifying name. So if I were to right click on this column and just hit remove, it shows that down here. If you have duplicate values, you can do the same thing. It will pull up in here. Say you wanted to bring it back, hit X there, brings it back for you. So it's 
all the ability to work with your data within it, manipulate it, and show the path through the applied steps. I really like the workflow of seeing that. But now, since we know what we're trying to do and we have three different data sets and we're trying to merge all of these together, we want to combine these data sets. So we want to merge these together. I'm going to open this. And it has the county one as the primary one. So I'm good with that. I want to add the county health. And all you have to do is identify is click on your unique identifier. So the FIPS column in each. And you have join kind. The left outer is the easiest one. Uh, for me, when I've gone through it, in terms of just getting into what kind of join do you want to go with. And it gives you how many matches there are based on each table. So I can hit OK here. And fuzzy match, we're not going to get into today. If you have a bit of uh, uncertain data, we can get in that another time. So we merge these two. So keep in mind, at this point, we've merged the county health to the ACS data. You can see on the right-hand side, we have these merged ones here. Now you might look at this and like, well, shit, nothing's showing. It just says table. Now, if you click on this, it now gives you the option of what do you want to bring over from that data set? So I don't want to select all. Maybe I want to bring over the physical unhealthy days and let's go into oh, child mortality. So two of those. I don't need everything, so I'm just going to bring over two. And it's going to update now this table for that. So now I have, based on that specific county ID, the FIPS, I now know how many unhealthy days on average for adults, and then child mortality for that and counts, so not rates there. With that, so we have this, we expanded it. Now we want to do another merge here. So we have the Jenny one again. If we go across, we still have those there. We're good to go. Now we want to add in, let's say, the UCR crime. So again, we have our FIPS. We're going to match our FIPS here. And you can see now it's only matching 75. So that's because the Arkansas UCR data is only 75 counties. So that's all we really wanted to bring over. So at the end of the day, if we wanted to only have data on Arkansas counties that also had child mal or mortality accounts, the ACS Gini index, and also the unhealthy days, we would have that only for Arkansas, but the other ones obviously are dependent on that. We're good to go there and there, click OK. Again, you have to specify you, what you want Excel to bring over in this Power Query Editor. Open that up, and at this point, I'm going to deselect. I only want the violent crime rate for those 75 counties. Click OK. You can see we're going to have a lot of null values. I can continue to scroll until we get into Arkansas. Remember, it's the fifth state, so it's going to take some time to get down there. But we do have some values in there. With that, at this point, I've done an un enough editing in the sense of I've merged the data on how I want to. Now I want to open this in Excel, so I'm happy with what I've done here. For the time being, if you want to play around, I obviously recommend it if you have not used Power Query Editor before. It gives you a lot of options in here to merge data. This is just a quick way to merge that data. And I'm going to do close and load. So this is going to load back into that empty workbook, and it's actually going to bring in everything that you did with it. I like that option to it because it's going to show everything. So we have our UCR. We have our county health that has all of the original health data in it. And then under the original one that we joined data to our ACS county that had the Gini index in it, we had those other three columns combined to it. Remember that for our violent crime, it was only for Arkansas. So if I did a oh, sort, sorry, I have a bad glare. Obviously, this is in table format, so it's not going to let me sort it right now. There we go, largest, smallest. So now when we open this up, we can see where we have data in those 75-ish counties. Remember, not all the counties in Arkansas actually reported a violent crime rate, but when we did have that corresponding match value, so you can see those FIPS right here, we see the Gini index, the number of unhealthy days per month, child mortality, all of those together in a table for you to use for any other type of analysis. You can go ahead, if you only wanted to look at Arkansas that had values on violent crime, 
you could delete the other one, select the blanks, delete anything from there, but it won't bring over values. Obviously, it only matches data based on that FIPS code, your unique ID. So the key part is make sure your unique ID is the same and if it's just two files, three files, four files, whatever it may be. Just make sure those are the same and that will allow you to merge data. Then you just have to do some cleanup on the back end. But another way to merge data when you have larger, say, data sets you want to merge together, the merge query under the power aspect to it. Super handy and helpful. If there's any questions, feel free to reach out. Until next time, take care.